so in the last episode i was packing up and having my final week here in hollywood and i'm gonna pick up where i left off where i was showing you my room and i cleaned it all out and i'll show you a little bit of the other parts of the house and then we're gonna get on the road and make our way back to nashville from hollywood florida so this is my little master bath in my in the florida house my grandma's house so yeah here's the bathroom not very big but it gets the job done and next moving on here is the uh, pretty much used as like a guest bedroom but it's the master bedroom got the ocean vibes going on right there this is my dresser I need to get rid of that right there and just some pictures and stuff so yeah it's a guest bedroom this was my grandpa's bedroom. And over here, that's my room. But it's kind of dark because my mom has shut the curtains. But, you know, looks a lot cleaner. Pretty empty. <clears throat> Living room. This Some of the stuff I'm taking with me. My brother's nasty cabinet. My cute chair I'm not bringing. And if it's your first time watching my channel, my name is Lindsay. And on this vlog today, I'm vlogging my road trip from Florida, South Florida, Hollywood, Fort Lauderdale area, back to Nashville. And then after that, I'm going from Nashville to Colorado to go to Bible College at Karis Bible College, if you're familiar with that. And anyway, I'm just vlogging and documenting this uh, big trip, this big adventure. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot, a lot more videos to come. I have a lot of videos so far my channel I just started a couple months ago of different things I've been doing uh, personal testimonies of things that God's done in my life uh, just to give you encouragement so anyway if any of that sounds interesting and you want to be encouraged and follow along definitely subscribe and hit the thumbs up it really helps me out and leave a comment let me know where you're watching from final moments inside the house and your meat needs taken care of in a yeah, right behind your chair. Check out all the citrus and all the 
all, all the live baby alligators. <laughs> That's what it says. Those are fake oranges. Those aren't even real. That's just a fake piece of plastic. You have to go inside and check it all out. Maybe they have the real oranges inside. Yummy. Mini Cooper's doing pretty good. Say what, Mom? Ooh, I was reading that. You need to read that storybook of 91st Song. It's good. Oh, yeah? And that camera is in my face. I know. I always get Mom on camera. I know. These are pretty cool. That's kind of creepy. They're seventeen dollars. Man. Whoa. Look, here's some Florida citrus for you right there. This is Luke and Leo right here. <laughs> Whoa, free samples inside. Ooh, free samples inside that. Oh. All right, gonna try some of this orange juice out. Andy, where'd you go? Mm. You want me taking one? You good? Oh, this is Natalie's. Wow, this is like goodies heaven. Grandpa, Mickey. And Mickey. Hey, hey, if you break it, you already bought it. Looking for the live gators. Did you find the life gators? I need to see. Whoa, this is alligator alley over here. <gasps> here they are. Hey, they're cute. Look at these cute buddies. Oh, wow. Hey, he's kind of cute. There's a $400 alligator head. Oh, yeah? Hey, bud. I don't know if he likes me or not. Oh, he closed his mouth was open earlier. He closed it up. Oh, they really are? Oh, how cute. I know, they are cute. Ooh. Hey, these dudes are not for sale. There's, there's one in the corner, too. Actually, there's like two over there. Or no, it's just one. Not for sale. They're cute, but I don't know if they're happy in there. Honey Bell Pangelo. Those are pretty good. 20 bucks a bag, though. I might have to skip this time. Back to the mini. Back on the road. Only two more hours till Valdosta. Then we'll be done for the day. So, here we go. Off on our adventure. All right, we made it to Crackle Barrel. Everybody's gotta stop here. Wait for me. So, are you? We made it to Crackle Barrel. We're gonna order some dinner. Can you bring strong? You want to enjoying all the all the delicious southern favorites in a cozy country restaurant. Did you see him? I reached my move goal today. You did? Woohoo! Thank you for Jesus, his sacrifice for us. Thank you for that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Some of the best. That was going to be a long for us. When you start in on Mark, yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> then, then pretty soon you'll be starting in on everybody else. <laughs> you did give me one. That's right. Give him back on the air stick.
So this Cracker Bar had, had a lot of cute stuff. And we're about to go to the hotel and check in for the night. So that was a pretty good meal, Dad. What would you say? What would you give it? Five stars, four stars, three stars? I give it four. Four. One star minus because of that stinky ham, right? <laughs> it just didn't seem appetizing. That didn't seem as appetizing as normal turnip greens. I like a little ham. You gotta have a little bacon in your beans. A little, a little bacon, bacon in your beans. Turnips. But there was something about it. It just wasn't quite right. Yeah, it kind of it just smells too strong. I but know. The dumplings were good. The okra was good, and the mashed potatoes and gravy were good, and the biscuits were good. Four out of five stars. There you go. Give a thumbs up. That's right. There we go. Dad approved, and Big J approved too. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Okay. Whatever it is, you'll follow up. All right, Buenos Nachos, Crackle Barrel. All right, so I made it to Bucky's. You can see Bucky's behind me right here, right there. Lots of traffic, tons of people here, but a parking spot for everybody. Let's go inside. They got a whole barbecue going up in here. And if you're not too hungry, order your jerky. Oh, look. It's made by Justin Boots. Whoa, Justin Boots. My brother's named after Justin Boots. No joke. Concealed carry. Whoa, that means you can carry a gun in there.